Now something tells me I'm gonna regret making this video, considering how Don't Starve Together's newest update, A Little Drama, is still in beta and has already had two hotfixes in just as many days. But hey, that's actually why we're here. I'm sure many of you have heard the news of tall birds now creating fresh nests. But did you notice the new egg laying mechanics? How about the changes to raising the little eyeballs? And oh yeah, have you even considered what renewable tall bird nests even means? If not, it's time to break some eggs. An act that all of us should be able to do in some capacity in each and every world from now on, as tall birds and their nests are now guaranteed generations, everybody. Be mindful though, that doesn't exactly guarantee healthy numbers of the beasts at the end of the day. Without additional input from us in the settings, we still might only end up with one or two tall birds per world on occasion, and that's not great. But here's a rather odd solution potentially. The loot stash. For you see, tall bird eggs are now a part of the loot table of Claus's loot stash here to just help with their overall availability. It is strange and arguably a waste as the stash is typically meant for boss loot. However, it is still absolutely a step in the right direction even if it's the one thing that is gonna make me regret this tall bird refresh. Whatever the case may be though, let us talk how we ourselves can help the population of these things nowadays. Hatching the tall bird eggs you find or steal has not changed. So fire up a fire and maintain their temperatures throughout the process as we have done oh so many times before. Then, with however many small birds you have decided to hatch at one time, mind, be prepared to care for these little guys for 10 days, making sure to feed them seeds when needed. But here is where we take a little detour as things have gotten a little bit better for us with these guys tailing us after the day. A recent update to the update has made it to where we will no longer have to worry about accidentally killing both small and teen birds on teeth traps, bee mines, or even in enemies as they can no longer trigger the dang things themselves. Heck, they don't even take damage from them if the traps do get triggered by something besides them too. Be warned though, that doesn't actually go for Bram traps here. While our loyal birds won't activate them, sure, they will still absolutely feel the sting when the traps do trigger, just like we would if we didn't have our bramble armor. So make notes. But to get back on track here comes a tall bird's teen years, of course, which will last for an appropriate 18 days total. They receive a health increase, better damage outputs, a bigger stomach, and can now eat more than just seeds. So raising smallish tall birds will not be as nerve-wracking, I feel. Heck, they can even take on most bosses if you do so choose to use them as such. Continue to raise them, though, and as always, they will reach adulthood and immediately hate us. But something else really interesting happens now, too. They create entirely new tall bird nests, and here's where the fun begins. With these updates in play. All tall birds without a nest, be them naturally generated or hatched, will create a new nest directly underneath them almost immediately if one doesn't already exist. And as you can see here, we ourselves can have a lot of direct input with this mechanic if you wish. As long as tall birds remain aggroed onto something, they will not nest. So if you burn all their nests in the world while gaining their aggro on top of that, you can then run them to a desired location and then just let them create create their new ones once they've had enough of you. With this, you have essentially started your personal tall bird fortress for Pete's sake. Add in however many hatch birds you want, and you're golden. Make notes, however. Obviously, tall birds can only create nests on rocky turf and no turf at all, and you should of course wait for them to lay their eggs before farming them if you plan on doing any of this. And that reminds me, before we go, I should remind you of the fact that tall bird egg laying has has also changed. What has always been a pretty rare sight might be even rarer nowadays, as tall birds now take three to five days to lay any additional eggs. That is a major nerf, all things considered, so we're really gonna want to increase their numbers however we can to mitigate the weight. Especially when these very eggs are just too darn good. Especially following the introduction of tall scotch eggs. Tall bird eggs never spoil, so to have access to a dish that requires but one tall bird egg and one veggie alongside most any filler of your choosing that also just so happens to offer us a whopping 150 hunger and 60 health a munch is be 
beyond bonkers. If anything is going to be tweaked after all this, it's going to be the loot stash nonsense and this very breakfast feast right before you. So take advantage before that happens. But folks, there you have it. All the new tall bird mechanics within Don't Stop Together, now that its latest update is in beta. They're better than ever, but we'll have to work for them to be efficiently so, but I get the feeling it's still gonna be oh so very worth it. If things stay the same before a release, that is. Like I said, I might regret making such a specific video here today, but get the egg extracting nonetheless. Thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, be prepared for more changes, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.